You know, it has been the year of stepping into the ring here in Ohio. Last night, Cleveland's own Stipe Miocic defended his heavyweight championship of the UFC successfully. He's still the champ. Back here in Toledo, the name Robert Easter Jr. became a household name for Toledo sports fans as well as boxing fans across the nation this past year. But his undefeated record is not the only one right here in Toledo. Sonny Fredrickson entered this weekend with a record of 16-0, going for number 17 at the Eastern Michigan Convocation Center on Saturday night. Toledo's very own Sonny Fredrickson looking to remain undefeated on Saturday, taking on Daniel Montoya. Uh, best of 10 rounds, it probably wouldn't go that long. Third we go, Sonny with a nice right to Montoya, and Montoya a little shaken up. Fredrickson. Going for some big hits. Gets tripped up, but uh, does take, no takedown is called. Sixth round, early in the round. Fredrickson with a flurry of punches here. Montoya goes down to one knee, but they would continue. A little bit later in the round, Montoya starting to string some shots together, but Fredrickson just too much. A shot right there, and that would end it. Sonny remains undefeated after this match. And he talked about the early fall to the match. Yeah, you know, I was just, I, I feel like I heard him, so I got a little wild and I shouldn't have did that. Should have just stayed, stayed more um, patient in that moment. I was just thinking about just making sure I get the win, going the distance or stopping him. I wanted to knock him out, and that's what I did. So I waited. I, I stayed patient, though, make sure I, um, I stayed sharp and looked nice. And I, um, I had a good performance, so I'm happy with it. I just knew I had to train hard and um, put myself through the training and make sure I go. Yeah, my training's hard and make sure. I put myself in, the, um, got myself in the condition to go the 10 rounds, and I was conditioned to go the 10 rounds, but I stopped it early. To fight in tough guys, that's what you need to get to the next level, and uh, that, that just being in the ring with someone with that um, experience like that was a good, um, good look for me. It, it means a lot just having my fans come and all my friend, friends and family come, and just means a lot to just have everyone that I, um, I care about come and um, support me. Um, you know I'm ranked number 11 in the WBA now, so if they want to give me a world title shot, I'm going to take it. And whenever, whenever they're ready, I'm ready for it whenever.